everybody. We are with Tim. He is one of the people that started the Pinball Hall of Fame. We're going to ask him a few questions. So Tim, what is going on right now with COVID-19? Are you in plans to open up anytime soon? We're still here. We've been here every day for the last nine weeks. We haven't wasted any of our time. We've been busy bringing in a lot of new machines out of storage, rehabbing them, giving them fresh rubber rings, checking them, lubricating them, getting ready to go. You'll see almost a third of the machines will be different when you come in if you've been here before. Um, we've also been uh, keeping an eye on the news, waiting for word from the governor when we can open. We have a hand wash station. When you get to the door, uh, you'll have to wash your hands. Uh, you'll be required to wear a mask. If you don't have a mask, we have a mask vending machine that you can buy a mask for a dollar. We're not making any money on that. We're just selling you a mask for what we paid for it. Uh, we'll have lots of hand sanitizer. Uh, we have 10 gallons of it uh, ready to go. We'll also be turning off initially, depending on what the governor says when they give the actual order, either one third or one half of the machines will be available for play. The rest will be turned off and unplugged. So if your favorite game is off, you're just gonna have to try something else. We're trying to turn on the games that were most popular, but because they're so heavy, we just can't pick them up and fling them around. Yeah. So sometimes some of the popular ones will be left off. That's our <laughs> new cat. Oh. We have a new kitty cat that wandered in. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So we're, we're absolutely unaware of what's going to happen. This is something completely new to us. Uh, we've been doing this for a really long time and we've yeah. never been closed, uh, even for one day. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they broke in and stole all the electrical wiring. We oh, were, no, they did not. We oh. were up eight hours later because we got an electrician to come in and replace all the wiring. Yeah, um, so was it they, they tampered with machines too? or? You no, know, we've, had, we've had all kinds of things. But, you know, hell or high water, we always open the doors every day. But yeah. now we have to stay shut, and it's driving us insane. <laughs> So are you going to have a list of what machines are going to be open for that day when you actually start We up? don't know because we don't know whether we're going to be at one-third or one-half. Okay. So when we get that, we're probably not much of a list. It's just going to be show up and... Um, just whatever is there. Whatever is there. on is on, and we'll alternate it so that one day, if it's half, one day will be on, one day will the be other off. The other half will be on. So we'll do, we'll do that, and please don't hesitate to come by because... This stoppage has really wrecked our finances. Yeah. We are right in the middle of building and paying for our new location on the Strip. Yeah. And we were counting on the money that we've lost, almost $300,000 now, yeah. to help finish that project up. So we're hurting for certain and we really need the public support at this point. Yeah, I'm going to drop a link in the description of your guys' PayPal information so that you can be able yep. to help out. Yep, if and you got some extra dough sitting around. Yeah, are, are you guys going to have like a limit on the number set up? Like, are you, what's your yeah, plans if on that? We've got, we've got a, a rated capacity uh -huh. according to the fire marshal. Yeah. And from what I've heard, you're going to take that number and you're going to cut it in half uh -huh. or two thirds. Yeah. Again, until we get the actual thing, we don't know. Um, but we're not one of these lawless guys who say, ah, oh, screw everything, we're just going to turn everything on and let everybody in. Yeah. Uh, we realize as operators we have a responsibility. Yeah. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to play it by the book on this one. Okay. So do we need to call in to see if you're at capacity at any point? Or Well, that, that's, we don't really have, we're uh, automated, yeah, we don't really okay. have people standing around to edit and ready to answer the phone okay so it's just going to be kind of come by if there's a big long line um i think our capacity is like 320 okay. or something so even if they cut it by two-thirds there'd still so be 100, 100 people in yeah there. so is somebody going to be at the door to count in and yeah, out and yeah, then we'll have, and when we'll one person leaves and they'll make let sure you person? have okay well we're going to have one door for in one door for out oh, we'll have okay. a turnstile okay. so you can't come okay. back in the other way uh so yeah, we'll uh, 
We're also going to make sure you can't just, you know, put a mask on and then come in and rip the mask oh, off. Oh, okay. So you have staff walking around. Yeah, we're around. going to have okay. we're we're going to have control over things. So, thank you so much Tim for having this interview with us. I am going to drop a link for all their information on everything that's yep. going on. You can always go to their website to hear the history of the place. You can also go to the website to see their plans that they were going to go to the strip. And well, please. We're, we're, that's not an option for us. We've not signed right contracts and there's bulldozers there. The problem is we're going to run out of money before it's done, uh -huh. which means we're going to have to go borrow more money. So yeah. it's one of those things where we were hoping we would coast up to having it done and paid for, but that kind of got wrecked. So you're just gonna stay here for now until you? No, no, no. Our, our, we have to vacate this building sometime in the near future. Okay. We're done with this one. We're moving over there. Okay. So for that, we're going to say symbolically, if you're in a different state and you have a favorite pinball, donate a dollar or two dollars. Yeah. Start off with that, and that'll be your game. And put in the comments what you donated for. So that yep. they know that that was a pinball that they're symbolically playing here at this machines. They all look beautiful. I have been here several times. They do not at all let anything go to waste. Everything is refurbished, re reused. Yep. So please, if you have not seen Pinball Hall of Fame, go check it out once they are open. And thank you guys for watching. This is Linda aka The Gamer Girl, and we're out. Bye, everybody. Linda, The Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games too